Jim. Evening. I know you were expecting Waller. Sorry to disappoint. So, what happened? Where were you? What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decided not to show? No, that ain't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? I was there, Jim. You just didn't see me. Oh, yeah? Well, you let him get away pretty easily. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. And by then, it was just Quinn. She still hospitalized a dozen good cops and then gave us a slip. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you, but I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. I don't know anything about that. Maury was an arms dealer, and Riddler targeted him the same way he did Fox. My gut is telling me that's no coincidence. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Uh, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Wayne even dropped my name with Bullock, like I'd back him up. <laughs> Dirtbag's got stones, I'll give him that. Bruce Wayne is dirty, and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened, too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. If you've got all that, do it yourself. Fine. Maybe I will. Gotham safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Dropping threats and walking away. You've hit a new low, Jim. Yeah, I'll learn to live with it. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a warpath. If I warn Selena and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Waller was right to demote him. He's acting recklessly. He's had his power taken away from him. Gordon was bound to lash out. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. She already betrayed me back at the workshop. Yes. 
Catwoman's motives will always be suspect. You know what must be done. It's done, Al. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to save. <laughs> Please, Jim. You have to let me in. I can't, my man. It's too much. I'm the best friend you have in spandex, or whatever my suit is. You can trust me. What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Just, what a pleasure. So nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. No. Uh-huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> Looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're, you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on, before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets right there. And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and then give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I, I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Sorry, John. No exceptions. That gang, they're going to fall. Oh, they're going to fall. Man, that's so good! You're the real deal, you know that? Of course you know it. Now, now when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea. I hope Bruce is there. He'll do anything for me. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. Oh, we look so cool. I mean, you're cool. I'm not, I'm not usually cool, but next to you, I look cool. Oh, this is gonna look great on my wall. Thank you. Laptop, behind the stack deck. I'll be there, promise. Hope to die. You won't be disappointed. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, 
I thought you might appreciate this. Bane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. These people didn't need to die. There are other ways. Maybe you're better suited for the realm of business. The people you kill there are faceless. We live in a twisted world, Bruce. Better to abide than struggle against it in vain. One more time, my friend. Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Bane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for a mole. You're trying to slow us down. No, look, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? No, I don't. You... What do you mean you don't? <laughs> It seems Mr. Wayne is not in a reciprocal mood. Pity. That means you're out of luck. What the hell is going no, on no, here? No, 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 no! Merely plugging the leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Damn it. Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got it? Yours? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca! You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you. What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. I changed my mind. I'll help you. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. And uh, it's all yours. Yep. Getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Honored traditional way to express brotherhood. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley, what a surprise. You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus. Ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because I want to be. Because I'm being myself. The mole, Bane's men, you... Maybe, possibly, potentially 
can't handle it alone. <laughs> you have a problem, and I want to help. You, time out. And you, we need to talk. Here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. Is it John? Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. Don't expect it again. I put a lot on the line for you. Then I'll have to find a way to pay you back. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. You're stalling. Give me the laptop. Is that really the only reason you came here? You want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I'd bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Sorry, but no. I see. Well, have a good night. Selena. 
Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddlers like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Okay, Selena. I'll give you what you want. And what is it you think I want? Something meaningful. With someone who has your back. I've had you already. But who knows? I might be up for a repeat performance. Just promise to work with me. I'll stop playing games. We've had our fun, haven't we? And it seemed like, for a moment at least, you wanted more than that. I came back to stop Harley's so-called pact. The Eddie I knew would have wanted that. Anything else? Us? That's just icing on the cake. No pressure. Really. Hold that thought. Until after we've taken care of everything. So, I'd say it's time to find a black site, partner. We'll probably need our own supercomputer to get into his laptop. But something tells me you might know where to find one. I'll get in touch when I have something. Oh, so... Partners to a point. Not sure why I expected anything else. You've got my number. You have the laptop? And the glasses we need to get past the encryption. I hope you're not keeping Ms. Kyle at arm's length because of... well... of any lingering feelings from last year. Even so, I just wonder, perhaps she might not be the worst thing for you. She may not be the most savory individual. You're right, okay? I'll, I'll do what I can to mend fences. Well, glad to hear it. Just as soon as we deal with the problem at hand. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. It appears it'll take a moment to scan for all viruses and other safeguards. If you have a second, I have something to show you.
I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. Uh, at any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because uh, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. <sighs> it's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. Ready and able to serve. data. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. Is this a medical facility or a prison? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. Invoices, schematics, design notes. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look, manifest. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Gordon doesn't trust us, and Selina, well, you certainly made sure she won't be coming to your aid. You keep distancing yourself. You need more support than just this old soldier. We're completely isolated. How are you supposed to deal with a threat this big without allies? I don't need help from anybody. If you really believe that, you're blind. You don't do this alone. So long as I live, you never will. I have the location of the black side. Need to get in there before Riddler's gang or the police do. Despite my reservations about her, I think it's time to reach out to Ms. Waller. Bruce, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus, with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... is that what Quinn's after? 
Yes. I found the Black Sight. Hiding in the middle of Gotham, at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. 